Hi, welcome back. Um, so this vlog is going to be pretty big. It's going to be a long vlog. Um, I'm just having some dark chocolate peppermint. So it is really nice. I've got a strong taste of choc. Dark. Peppermint. So. And then... You got mint inside. There's dark chocolate and peppermint. Hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, um, I've still got art shows to do. I'm still doing, like, Easter art shows. Um, I'm still going to finish the Valentine's one as well, which I'm just going to do it today, but I'm doing it next, um, hopefully tomorrow. Um, I'm still doing a show um, with canvases painting as well as I've got some stones, which I'm going to use. Um, for my shows as well, so stay tuned for that. That's still happening. Um, and these are the books that I've been reading to my kids. Um, so this is called the Spectacular Holiday, Spectacular Holiday, and then I have another book called this one. It's a really good story. It's a lot in it, like a lot about it and stuff, but it's a good story. So they're the things I wanted to show you. Um, I wanted to show you one more thing. So if I just show you. cooking shows on my YouTube channel which I am and these are the magazines I bought to use for my cooking shows so this one is food ideas and this has got like lots of ideas of making food um if you can see there these have got like a lot of ideas in here um so they've got food ideas in here Okay, so, but this is the one that I like to do is desserts. So last night I made a cake for my mum and dad because they were here and I made a banana cake and then I tie dyed, well not tie dyed, but I put some food colouring into the icing and it came to green icing. So it was like a green cake basically. So, yeah. Um... So, I'm trying to have a look here and see what I can think of seeing. So, so they've got like pizza's ideas there too. Um, Ziki lemon and rice tart. Hmm, interesting. And then this one is family favourites as well. So they've got like pizzas and pastas. <clears throat> so um, 
I wanted to talk to you about something. So I did have ads on my my first YouTube channel. This is my YouTube channel, but I had it on my the first page I started on my YouTube channel. And it didn't say anything in the fine print saying that you have to pay for your ads to be up on YouTube. And um, they have charged me money to have ads on my YouTube channel. And I didn't know anything about it um, because it wasn't in fine print. So be careful when you add things into your YouTube channel like ads because if you don't ring the fine print, you don't know for sure if you have to pay for the ads. Now, I have to pay for my ads that was up there, my YouTube channel. So I've left it, like not left it, but I've left that um, – ads I'm not there anymore with the ads because it cost me too much money so maybe what I recommend people to do is if you don't have enough money like I do just um when you do your YouTube channel get to your I think it have to be to a thousand subs when you get ads onto your YouTube channel I really don't know but maybe it's best just to keep going and doing shows don't worry about the ads and um, maybe get to that mark where you can get ads for free. So that's what I'm going to do because it wasn't fair on me knowing that I had to pay for my ads. Um, so, yeah, just make sure that you read the fine print because, yeah, I did. So, yeah, uh, I thought I'd just get that out there because when you start YouTube, you want to have ads to – to make the money as well, like to buy things for your YouTube channel and, um, you know, things like that and, um, and make your channel special. And I, as I said, I still got to buy a few things for my channel. I still need to buy a laptop computer. I still need to buy lights for my light, lights as well. Um, so I need to buy a few things. So I'm just mentioning um, when you start a YouTube channel, um, make sure you've got some of those things behind you so you don't have to wait and buy them. Um, but it is up to you. I, you know, it's your choice. I'm just filming on my mobile phone and talking to you guys and getting free apps from App Store. Um, and you guys can do the same thing. I don't mind how you start your YouTube channel. Um, and then I found this program that you can do editing and stuff. And I really like it that way because you can actually edit your shows. And you can put like a – the thing when you when the show starts, um, your edit – not editor, but um, your intro. And I put an intro in my shows now. So when – before the show starts, there's always an intro – and I'm changing it a bit just to see what I think of my shows. Do you know what I mean? And it is takes me a while to um, – it takes me a while to upload sometimes because when you edit your shows, to, especially to upload your shows, it takes a while because you've got to take, you know, things out of your shows to make it good for your audience. And that's why my shows take a while to go up, which I don't mean that happening, but it does. So when I finish filming today – I'm basically going to start editing and that's what I do every time I film. I start editing my shows. Um, so, yeah, so um, that's what I do for my YouTube channel and I just want to get that word out there. Be careful <laughs> what you choose for your YouTube, especially for ads. So, yeah. Anyway, guys, I hope you liked the talk and the little vlog with me and the mini haul because I did a little haul. Um, don't forget to click on the notification bell to let you know when my shows are up. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. And